Lawson. Today, below normal temperatures all across the Coachella Valley. Palm Springs coming in at 88 degrees. Temperatures are great, but you know to get that cool down, we've had to deal with a lot of wind and we're still going to be experiencing wind throughout this evening. It's just not looking to be as strong as what we were dealing with over the weekend. Right now, 86 degrees in Palm Springs, 88 in Palm Desert and 91 at this time in thermal, staying nice and warm and temperatures are going to be pretty slow to cool off through this evening for the Palm Springs area down near really the low 80s, 80 degree mark, uh, closer to the 8, 9 p.m. hour. At least we are staying nice and dry. For the most part, we have seen these dew point temperatures creep up a bit. Notice 51 degrees right now for Thousand Palms as well as Indio. And when we're looking at more like thermal Mecca in the 40s. So 40s are good. Once we start to see those dew point temperatures in the 50s, we know there's an extra moisture in our atmosphere. However, we are only going to be drying out as we head through this week. Right now, that low pressure system that brought us all of the wind over the weekend, still even at this point, is working its way towards the east and really what's going to be taking place as we head through the latter half of this week is another trough of low pressure will be working its way into Southern California and yet again that is going to be bringing more wind to the Coachella Valley. So let's go ahead and break down our future wind gusts. We're going to look at each evening and each morning to give you a better idea. This evening those gusts near 30 miles per hour right along the interstate looking ahead towards tomorrow morning still breezy but overall we're looking good. Moving into tomorrow evening, same setup. Those gusts closer to 35 miles per hour. The wind will be felt each and every day this week. However, right now when I'm looking to have some of our strongest winds arrive yet again, that's going to be a beginning Wednesday night. Wednesday night is when I'm expecting those gusts to reach that 40 mile per hour mark here on the valley floor yet again. And unfortunately, the wind is looking to stick around as we head through Thursday and even into Friday. Now, because we're also drying out, a fire weather watch has been issued for the high desert. This includes Morongo Valley. This includes Yucca Valley. Beginning noon on Wednesday, because of relative humidity values, that will be dropping down into the single digits, and then we're still talking about the wind. So on your Comfort Air 7-day forecast, yes, temperatures are looking good. We don't have anything extreme, but each and every day we are going to be discussing that wind here in the low desert. John Karen? Well, no hundreds there, so that's the upside. Yeah. Close. Yeah. Boy, Love. we're tired of that wind. <laughs> we're with you. You know, we know viewers. We know how you feel. <laughs> A new study suggests Zoom fatigue.